Hi friends, I'm Alata from Easy Approach and it's the fifth video of Letter video series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a scaffold widget a bit more. As I said, a scaffold widget allows you to use material design components like any component that can exist on your screen you can use uh, you can have by using a scaffold widget so if we minimize this there's a property in a scaffold widget name app bar so you can write here app bar and you need to pass here an, an app bar widget so that the app bar can be shown on the screen so what we can do there's a widget name app bar we can use this widget and there's a property in this app bar widget which is actually a title and it actually you need to pass here the title of your app bar that you want to show at the top of the screen so now as title is also a text so you need to pass here a text widget in which you need to pass the actual string actually actual text which you want to show on your app bar so i'm gonna write here a flutter application so now if we uh, run this application we need to click here because we want to uh, see the changes quickly this is actually called hot reload so if we click here you can see here uh, an app bar on your scaffold uh, or actually on your screen so this app bar uh, we are having on the screen is actually because of this scaffold widget because this scaffold widget gives you uh, a material components uh, which can exist on your screen like app bar bottom navigation drawer and floating action button so in this video i'm gonna also use a floating um, button as well so you can see here a lot of things like uh, bottom navigation bottom sheet fl floating action button floating action button location drawer there are so many things and we'll be playing uh, with all these things later but in this video i'm gonna also talk about this floating action button so here there's a property floating action button it is still we are working on a scaffold okay so we are uh, these are all the properties of a scaffold see so actually we are in the scaffold widget so now we need to pass here a floating action button so there is a widget which actually calls floating action button so this is actually a property name starting from its lowercase and this is actually a widget starting from uppercase so you need to pass here a floating action button and in the floating action button there are so many properties like you have child on press now you need to uh, you need to pass here a child so uh, what i want to show i want to show an icon on our floating action button so i can write here icon this is also a widget and i need i need to pass what sort of icon i want to show on the floating action button so let's say i want to show uh, a, a add button which is actually a plus uh, a plus sign actually so i can write here icons dot so here you have so many icons that you can use on your uh, floating action button so i'm selecting this ad and now there's a yeah i can I, now we can run this application so if we refresh it hot reload actually so you can see here icon on the screen as well so it's actually a floating action button so these are two new things that we have we have learned in this application there's another thing that we can do we can change the color of this text as well so there's a property name is style in this text widget so you can write here and you can pass here text style which allow you to uh, give uh, or, or do styling in your text now you can pass here color and you can select a color by using colors dot and there's so many colors you can use i'm using red this one now we can refresh it now we can see our uh, our text color is changed so there are so many properties you can play with font weight font size background color le letter spacing so there are so many things that you can play with so this is all from this video we have learned a bar floating action button and we can uh, uh, we see that we can also style our widget like we do uh, with text so in the next video we'll learn some more new topics so thank you for watching and if you if you don't subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel you can subscribe my channel so that you can get all the notification of the videos that i'm gonna make thank you